Hafida and good morning, Guam. I'm Janella Carrera with your morning news update. Remember the report of three young women being killed in an auto pedestrian accident back in November? Well, according to the Attorney General's office, they know who did it. Quadlin Lane Gorong was indicted yesterday on charges of three counts manslaughter, three counts negligent homicide, reckless driving, and reckless conduct. All but the manslaughter charges were attached with special allegations of use of a deadly weapon in the commission of a felony. Gorong is believed to be the driver of a vehicle that struck 16-year-old Sally Sanchez, 16-year-old Julia George, and 19-year-old Cherica Gallon in the Zero Down area of Jigo. More shocking news in the Bank of Guam robbery, the only person to go to trial out of the three new defendants in the case was just found not guilty. After less than two hours of deliberations, Edward Baza was acquitted by a jury of 12. Baza was facing charges related to the 2014 Jigo Bank of Guam robbery after his co-defendant, Irvin Munya White, implicated him in the case. Now, White, along with his father, Jackery White, will be serving time for the crime, they confess. In fact, it was a voluntary confession. Irvin was already in custody for the days and robbery at the time, and what makes this case so interesting is that there's also another person in prison for the armed robbery. Jathan Tatauta also confessed to the robbery last year, and the people he implicated were also found not guilty last year. Irvin claims Tatauta had nothing to do with it, so at this point it's possible that Tatauta may have his case overturned. Class for Tizen High School students was disrupted on Tuesday for a school-wide search because of a report of contraband in the school. Airport Police Chief Bob Camacho says officers responded to a call at Tizen High School at about 12.45 Tuesday afternoon on a tip that a student brought marijuana to school. When they arrived at the campus, Camacho's staff members informed the officers that they also found a pellet gun. Chief Camacho says after a 30-minute search, the officers confiscated two marijuana cigarettes from a student. The student was taken into custody and later released to their parents. Department of Education Deputy Superintendent Rob Malay says after further investigation, administrators took the appropriate administrative action on the four students associated with the incident. And that's your morning news update. I'm Janella Carrera. Have a great weekend. Happy weekend to you and welcome to the local weather forecast. I'm Joanna O. Oh. A trade wind disturbance that brought some shower and winds during the week is gone after helping us with potential fire conditions. But now drier air is passing over the Marianas, so watch out for fire as fire weather watch is in effect over the weekends. Sometime next week, another diffuse weak trade wind disturbance is expected from the east. But for now, let's go take a look at weather for this weekend. As mentioned earlier, we're looking at dry weather. So less than 10% chance of rain is expected today. But once the dry air mass passes through, we'll return to isolated showers starting tomorrow. Skies will be mostly sunny today, but will turn partly cloudy tonight till next week. Winds will blow a little high at speed of 15 to 20 today, but by tonight, it will be back down to normal speed of 10 to 15 and pick up its speed eventually on Sunday. Temperatures will be 76 to 87 on Guam and 75 to 86 on Saipan. Back to you, Ginger.